Most adults that I know have their time scheduled for different activities during the day. When I was young, timetables were never a part of my plans because I just found scheduling my life something that would never work for me because I even hated the fact that our time at school was scheduled. For example, if it was studying, I could study in the morning or in the evening. I could study at almost any time that I wanted because I did not have that much work to read. But now, as a 14 year old, the work and activities I have to do also accumulate. And if I don't plan, my day would end up very disastrous. Yesterday while talking to my dad, I decided to incorporate a study timetable in my daily routine. Before making this timetable, I was studying mainly only the, su the subjects that I felt like and I was falling a lot on my school work because some days I would study and others I would generally do what I wanted to do. In the past, I tried to make timetables but most of them would end up going into the trash because they were not scheduled properly and I would not end up following them in. For this particular one, I am sure it will work because it is based on two different times of the day that is morning and evening and I have also added that the weekdays with three circuits. It is going to be kind of hard to achieve but I have to prevail because sometimes I may look at my timetable and it's money and suppose I'm supposed to do three subjects but then I only want to do one and it's not that particular sub subject for that day but I'm going to have to prevail and follow it no matter what. I think the reason as why I think I have not been making study timetables is because it would seem like school. At school, our day is scheduled from the time you wake up to the time you can go to sleep. Even the breaks are at a particular time, so your your life is being controlled not entirely, but somehow. Um, I believe when I'm at home, I have the sense of freedom to schedule my own life. Besides, a timetable seems like a human telling you what to do and when to do it and of which don't, being told what to do is not that fun but this particular timetable is not for the whole day it's for studying immediately so during the day i can focus also on other things and in the morning i read then for the rest of the day till the evening i can do other things so how i am going to achieve these study goals is that number one i am going to make sure that this timetable works by looking at it in the long term view. I'm results and I'm one of those people. I actually want to work on something for a short period of time because I know my reward is not even one month's time because that is a very long time. Oh no, it's it's in a very short period of time, like three days or one week. And we already set long term goals and we tend not to achieve them because we look at all the work and the time it will take instead of the reward at the end. It is just like in the Bible. All the apostles were being persecuted and killed. They looked at their reward in heaven and knew the trouble that they were going through and that helped them prevail through everything. So instead of focusing on the tedious work that this is going to take, it's going to be really hard, but I'm going to focus on the long-term benefit of passing my exams or being able to have all this information I need in order to pass an exam or test. Number two is that I'm going to focus on having discipline other than motivation. These are literally two different things. Motivation is trying to feel like doing stuff, but discipline is doing stuff even if you don't feel like it. Motivation is based on feelings while well, discipline is based on actions. In order to cultivate discipline, I have to start as small as possible so that the brain acknowledges that baseline. If I abruptly start big, I will fail because the brain refuses abrupt change. If you start big, then the brain will not allow that to happen because it, you, when you when you gradually when you when you go gradually, then it will, then the brain will actually be able to acknowledge that particular activity, and it will be easier to build that habit. So. You know, you know, you know, in order to uh, to reach the study goals, I have to cultivate discipline instead of focusing on motivation, and I also have to focus on the long term view, and I also have to think to follow the timetable. So, I want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video.